well as that time again where I like to review guys' Japanese wrestling promotions. But I'm also going to throw in the main favorite that I like to throw in, which is New Japan Pro Wrestling. The new beginning in Nagoya. We've also got three events by DDT Pro Wrestling. All of that will be reviewed and discussed and talked about on this episode of the Leaded Wrestle Zone. Welcome everybody to Deleted Wrestle Zone. All things that is pro wrestling from AEW, NXT, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, the National Wrestling Alliance, various promotions, wrestlers, matches, and championships. I am your host here right here. So let's talk about New Japan's new beginnings in Nagoya. Now the main event is the Never Open Way Championship, but we'll get to that. But the first match started out with Bullet Club members Yujiro Takahashi and Evil along with the Master Spoiler Dick Togo taking on Chaos members Toto Yanu and Kaguchika Okada. Now, as you know, for weeks now, Okada has been trying to get Evil in a match against him, the right or wrong that took place last year at New at the New Japan Cup. Now, I don't know how long this is going to last for Evil because if I was him, I should be annoyed by Okada, you know, trying to get him into a match. Because that's what happens, you know. But it was a very interesting match. Not one of the best ones, in my opinion. But it was a, a good one. And, of course, it ended with, a cor um, they first got rid of Dick Togo. Since he's the master spoiler, but the match won in Chaos's way. So, Evil, just wake up and take the match. Next one, we got four out of the five members of LIJ. We got Bushi, Hiromu Takahashi, Tetsuya Naito, and Sanada taking on Tomo Akihamna, Master Wato, Sho, and Kota Ibushi. Now, as you know, like I said, five out of the four, four out of the five are competing. Well, we all know where Shingo is. He's in the main event. But the match was very interesting in certain aspects due to the fact that each person has like a rivalry. You got uh, Ibushi, who's putting his titles on the line against Sonata. Sho facing off for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title with Hiromu. Master Wada will be facing Bushi. And of course, now there's like this rivalry between Humna and Naito since they've been becoming strong. But however, it did not end exactly like that. It ended with um, Sho picking up the victory for his team, pinning Ibushi. Now, normally I would see him pin Hiromu, but I think that's possibly a direct message to him. So I don't know. So I don't. So we are waiting for more, more. As you know, there are still more new beginning uh, uh, matches coming up for each of these guys. So we'll get to that. Now, the next match is a grudge match between the Great Okan and Hiroyoshi Tensan. Now, here's the stipulation. Whoever wins this match will earn the right to use the Mongolian chops. Now, Tensan has been the primary person who's been using the Mongolian chops until Great Okan appeared. Now, this match was so brutal between both competitors. I was, like, intensified. Like, you can see how Great Okan is making a name for himself. And that's what he's been doing the entire time, ever since he first arrived in New Japan. But the real question is, can Tanzan overcome him? The answer to that, no. It did not. He put him on the uh, Dominator uh, Claw and put him down. So basically, Tenzon, he put up a hell of a match, but he's no longer allowed to use the Mongolian Chops. Now, speaking of the Great Okan, his 
the leader of the United Empire, Will Ospreay, set himself in a no disqualification match against Tush uh, 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 Satoshi Kojima. Now, this match was also another brutalized match. I never seen Kojima in this type of position before. I mean, for a guy his age, but it's so intense between both guys. I didn't know how this was going to end. I would have assumed maybe somehow Kojima was going to win it, but he didn't. But he did put up a lot of effort, and it did allow Will Ospreay to win by pulling up the Stormbreaker on him. So right now for the night, it's two for two for the United Empire. Now the main event is the never open weight championship between challenger Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace, versus the dragon Shingo Tagaki. Now this match was also unbelievable. It was one of the best matches I've ever seen. Now if you guys must know, this is Tanahashi's first time ever competing for the Never Openweight Championship. He's already been um, the IWGP Heavyweight Champion eight times. Uh, Intercontinental Champion maybe once or twice. If I can remember. If I got it wrong, correct me please. But this was his first time. Even several of my friends confirmed it for me. This is his first time competing in this. But it's so amazing how this one went for Tanahashi. I did not expect it. It was so beautiful. I loved it. But it was a great ending how Tanahashi, he is, still has it. Even a guy for his age. Even Tagagi hand him over the belt. Realizing he's the strongest individual. Now, as you know, when Tanahashi wins, he always throws in the air guitar story. Instead of bringing the air guitar, he turned the, the never open went into a guitar. Which was fun. Until it was spoiled by someone from his past. I'm talking about the great Okan. Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out why he attacked him. There's a few reasons why he did it. One, he is now the new Never Openweight Champion. So that means he wants the title. Two, he wants Tanahashi gone. He wants to brutalize him enough to force him to retire. But the real question is, can Tanahashi hold on a little longer against a guy like Great Okan? So we don't know when that match will be. I know for a fact Tanahashi will have some final says into that. So there will be more of the new beginning events in the coming weeks. But for now, let's just move on with DDT Pro Wrestling. Okay, so as you know, I mentioned DDT Pro Wrestling. So we got three events of DDT Pro Wrestling on the same day. So stay with me. I'm going to go one at a time, which event. Now, the first one is Wrestling Tonkotsu uh, Dash Mitsutaki. This one was a very interesting. Now, bear with me. If there's some names I don't recognize from the previous ones I've mentioned, I'm sorry. So bear with me. First match is a tag team match. We got Keigo Nakamura teaming with Sanshiro Tagagi taking out All Out, uh, Shuma Takuts uh, Katsumara, and Akito. Now, this match was also good. I'm a fan of Tagagi because he's like the Japanese version of Stone Cold. Even uh, a Sting song opens up with the glass shattered that you may know. But All Out, they're also a really fun uh group to watch. I've seen these guys compete in that New Year's event. But it was a good one. I do enjoy this one. So, if you must know who won it, All Out won it. Next match is a six-man taxi match. First team, we got Yukio Naya, Mao, and Chris Brooks taking on eruption. Saki Akia, Akai, uh, Yukio Sakaguchi and Katsusada Iguchi. Now, I've always been a fan of Eruption because I like their their attitude. An amazing heel faction, and of course, it's a they have a woman in their faction fighting. So basically, she's not afraid to wrestle with men in um, 
in intergender matches because the ET has been known to have that over the times. But it was good. I like it, and I always suspect that Eruption was going to win because of their attitude. As you must know, Yukio and Katsunsada are in fact the current tag team champions in DDT. So, Eruption won this match, all thanks to Katsusada. Next match is a singles match. We got Hideki Okatani taking on Yuji Ino of Damnation. Now, it doesn't take a brain for me to figure out, okay, Yuji, he is a member of Damnation, one of the most popular faction, heelish faction, villain factions within DDT. But Yuji is a huge dude. You know for a fact he's going to squish you. And that's what he did when he took out uh, Hideki. Ooh, but yeah. So Yuji Ino actually won. Next match we got Kazuki Arada and Toto Owashi taking on Yudo Aojima and ha Harashima. Now this was a fun match. Oh, what's his name? Irada and Awash, she were not getting along. I don't know why, but there was a moment that Owashi actually took off. He just was like, I'm over here, I'm not tagging you in. I'm not tagging in. So basically, he had to leave him alone. But there was a moment where Yotu had two other people right behind him, and then he thought he saw three. I thought it was the most funniest thing I've ever seen. But however, Toto Owashi actually just stayed in the back, let Ira, um, Kazuki Irada actually get pinned. I thought it was so hilarious. But yeah. <laughs> so, Yo, Yudo Oijima and Ira Arajima won. He just, it, I thought it was funny. I don't know, was he teaching them a lesson or what, but it's just too darn funny. Now, next match is a, another six-man. We got Yusuke Okada, Mizus, Mizuki Warase, and Mad, uh, Makoto Oishi taking on Damn Nations, Soma Takao, Daosuke Sazaki, and Tetsuya Endo. Now, once again, as you know, I'm always watching the heel, heels, how great they are. Mostly when it comes to Damn Nation, I've always seen Tetsuya Endo and Soma Takao being one of the most stronger uh, um, competitors within that nation. And, of course, Tetsuya is one of, the one of the best I've seen so far watching DDT. So he picked up the victory for his team. Now, the main event, we have Antonio Honda teaming up with Anshuko Dino. Taking on Yukio Ino and Konosuke uh, Takeshita. Now, there's a bit of comedy in this particular match. As you know, DDT are a bunch of comedians. Thought it was funny because it was a moment where... Uh, this is what Antonio Honda does. He does that to people. Even when he then uh, Dino pulls his pants down, he tries to give a, a power to Honda. And he goes... Dun, 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 dun. I thought it was too hilarious. You know, the watch... But of course, you cannot uh, stop Yukio Ino and and Takeshita. Well, but they're great, <laughs> even though they won the match. <laughs> I mean, I do love when uh, Honda does his comedy, but it's so great. So, Yukio Ino and Konosuke Takeshita actually won this match. And I, I was, it was kind of simple for me. So, I think right now let's end it right there. And let's move on with the next DDT Pro Wrestling event. Okay, so another DDT Pro Wrestling on the same day, same venue. And this one is called Wrestling Tonkotsu Ma... Um, Motsunabe. Now the first match is a singles competition. We got Toa Kojima taking on Yusuke Okada. Now I have seen this guy, uh, Yusuke Okada. He's really good, you know. 
Uh, he he's I don't know if he's related to Kaguchika Okada. Don't ask me that. I don't know. I'm still trying to get used to who these guys are. But it was a good match. Singles competition. And of course, when you hear the name Okada, you think right away, oh, he's going to win that one. That, that's it. It was for me. Next match, we have a triple... No, no. A six-man tag team match. We have Toto Owashi... Sanshiro Tagagi and then Shuko Dino taking on Saki Akia, Antonio Honda, and Kazuki Irada. Now, <laughs> another funny match in this one, as you know. With Antonio Honda, he likes to do a little pause every once every time in his match. He does the thingy again. He does that every single time. And once again, it worked, but also he had help unintentionally by none other than Dino's butt. You know, he pulls his pants down and it caused a problem, but it did allow for, for Saki Akia, Antonio Honda, and Katsuki Irada to win the match. So, <laughs> yeah. Next match, we have a tag team. We got Keigo, uh, uh, Ke Keigo Nakamura and Akito taking on Azul Dragon and Soma Takoa of Damnation. Now, this is the first time I, I've always seen their mixes around, but sometimes you don't know if they'll get along. But this was also a really good match to watch as well for me, watching these guys. So I wasn't sure, but I kind of feeling I had that uh, distinct Feeling that it was going to be a Soul Dragon and and some of the cow to win the match, which resulted it did. So they won this match. Next match we have a tag team match. We got Junretsu, Mizuki Wata uh, Waza uh, Waraze, Makoto Oshi taking on All Out, Shumna Katsumara and Konosuke. Takashida. Also, this was a really good match, too. I think this is a better one for me because I'm, I've seen these guys wrestle a lot. They're a good team. But, however, there has to be one team, and that team was all out the one. All thanks to Shuma Katsumara. Next match, we got a, a six man tag team match. We got Yukio Naya teaming with Chris Brooks. And Hiroshima taking on Damnation, Daosuke, um, Sasaki, Yuji Ino, and Tetsuya Endo. Now, also a good match, but however, I feel Damnation was going to take this one, which they did all thanks to Sasaki and Tetsuya on this one. The next match is... Mao taking on Yuki Eno. No, Mao and Yuki Eno taking on Eruption. Yukio Sakaguchi and Kazu uh Kazusada Iguchi. Now, like I said, I'm a fan of Eruption. Damn, they did a good job on this one too. Now I don't know if anybody has the will to take these guys on since they are the KO tag team champions. The KOD tag team champions, but Eruption won as always. But I would like to see who's going to take them out. So we'll see in the upcoming weeks. And then right now let's end one more segment with DDT. This time with Ganbari. Alright. The last DDT event this one is Ganbar. Uh, Bar or Bear or whatever. Ganbar. This one was a very interesting one. It's not in a different venue. Same day. Now, first match we have, it's a women's tag team match. First team we got Arus Kaze and Momoka Hanazuno taking on Haruka, Akiwa, and Saki. Now, I'm not familiarized with these two women, with all four of these women, but I'll tell you anyway who won. Uh, the winners are Haruka, Aikawa, and Saki. Now, the reason I don't recognize these women because I've been 
trying to remember a lot of the faces how, how to the names all that but they were not amongst those who have been watching so they won their match next match we have is a tag team match we got Koda Umeada and uh, Tsuyoshi Okada taking on Shinji uh Shinjiro Tominaga and Koki Awasaki. Now, I don't know who these guys are either. They're, DDT has tons of wrestlers. I don't know where I, I don't know how to keep up with all of them. But I'll tell you anyway who won this one. This one was won by Umiada and Okada on this one. Now, the next match is a, t a championship match, but this title I'm not familiarized with. It's not part of the governing body within the D within DDT. This is for the GWC Six Man Tag Team Championship, and it's all inter intergender matches on this one. It's the first team is the current champions Alfie, Katsukatsi, uh, Shonuzoki, Mohiko, Marui, uh, Marumi Sana, and Sho Sakurai. These names are ridiculous. Taking on Yuna Manase and Yumehito, uh, Yumehito Anora teaming with Kuga. Now I don't. I'm see. I seen half of the uh, like four out of the six competitors. Two from Halfi, two from the other competitors. Kuga is not one that I've seen before, but it was an interesting beginning where Kuga wants to join both his his team. They have this thing called PWO, kind of like a ripoff version of NWO. But he did join, but they were not successful in obtaining these titles. Now, like I said, they're they're not part of the governing body of DDT Pro Wrestling. Now, I don't know why. It's the same thing with Shota, who is the independent junior heavyweight champion. I don't know who is running that one. But this one is one that I don't recognize. So, But, however, Halfi actually retained the titles. Next match is a singles match, which is Soshi Oida taking on Ken Oka. Now, I've seen Ken Oka on various occasions. He's this guy who comes out in a cowboy hat. He's always an interesting wrestler to look at with a very good gimmick. And do I think he had what it takes to win? Yes. He's one of the toughest competitors in DDT for the, when they do the Gambari show. So, he won this one. Next match, we have a intergender match, intergender tag team match. We got Asuka, not to be confused with Asuka from WWE, teaming with Shota, taking on Dream, uh, Team Dream Futures, which consisted of Shigehiro Iri and Kosuke, uh, Kisuke Ishii. Now, I am familiarized with all of these girls, with all these guys, but it was a really good match. Asuka, very flexible. But uh, Shingihiro and Ka uh, Kiski are two of my favorite ones. You know, not only in DDT, but in any promotion in Japan that you've seen them. It doesn't matter if it's in Pro Wrestling Zero or in All Japan Pro Wrestling. But do I thought they were going to win this match? Yes, because they are the toughest dudes within DDT Pro Wrestling. So, uh, sorry for not giving too much information. I'm still recovering from being sick but i'll get better at it but stay tuned for more i will review the royal rumble as a, as an all episode by itself so i must bid all of you guys adieu so goodbye and have a nice day bang